Another elevator, huh? Uh, you think this actually works? Don't know. Only one way to find out, though. Hey, someone's coming. Luna, Clover, and Kay. Hey, oh, what's a crack lacking? With Dio, Quark, and Alice tagging along, looks like. Sheesh, what, what is it with you people? Why do you feel the need to rush after you escape your rooms? Just chillax, yo! You only need to do that when somebody has opened an AB room without permission, am I right? To those of you who feel that way? Well, what's going on here? We bumped into them a little while ago. <sighs> Who'd have thought we'd bump into you too? Let me see the map. Oh, sure. I get it. All three routes end up here. That map. It's just like the one we found in the crew quarters. Crew quarters? Oh, we found a map like that too. There was one in the lounge. There's a lounge? Lounge? Crew quarters? What's next? A rec room? A treatment center? A laboratory? Which I'm still trying to find. Anyway, ours was in the infirmary. Hmm. Maybe we should sit down for a bit and exchange information. No. <laughs> of course not. Don't be silly dilly. There's plenty of time for that after we check out this elevator. The infirmary? Once again. This is the infirmary then. We were able to walk right in, just like the note said. That means you can come visit the lounge too. You'd like it, Grandpa. There's lots of alcohol. They've even got some of your favorite. Oh, oh. well, that sounds great. Maybe I'll go have a drink later. What the hell, man? How are you so damn calm? Wait a minute? Grandpa? Did Tenmyoji and Quark know each other? Were they actually related? I was about to ask when something else caught my... I was about to ask when something else caught my attention. Someone behind the divider was talking to someone else. Oh? I wonder. This is new. I snuck a look around. Do you think there's a connection? A connection to what? I can't be sure yet, but there's no way this is all just coincidence. Yeah, there's even a zero. Whatever it is that's going on, we need to get in touch with headquarters and fast. Yeah, I agree. And I agree too. They've probably figured out we're gone by now. Yeah. Do you think they'll find us? Let's hope so. How are these two connected? Well, you heard them, Sigma. They are part of an organization. And they sure are thinking that this has something to do with the other Nonari game. Looks like everybody else has gone in already. I think we should head into. Why are you asking me? Just hurry up and get in there. Alrighty then. Time to play our first round of AB game. 
Okay, okay. Insert that key card in there. An ambidex gate has been opened. 45 minutes remain until ambidex game polling closes. What? This game's got a time limit too? Oh my! Would you look at that, folks? A dead body! What? 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 What the hell? Who is this? Fuck if I know. Hmm. So I find her body when we go through the magenta and the yellow door. But not through the cyan door. Hmm. Look, it doesn't matter who she is. Just get everybody over here! Y yeah, right. Hmm. We're really going in there? I kind of don't want to. I mean, there was a dead lady in there just a few minutes ago. What? Are you worried there's a ghost or something? Uh... Let's let's not joke about that sort of stuff, I, because it can't be possible. No, no, of course not. It's just doesn't it bother you? No, nope. I don't believe in ghosts. I feel bad that she died, of course, but there's not really anything I can do about that, is there? Damn, you're pretty cold, you know that. I prefer bold, but whatever. I just don't let emotions get in the way. Alright. But, at the same time, just be careful. We're all human. Just... Just don't block your emotions inside you. Just because they are... Getting in your way or something. It's not healthy. For example... How about a hug? Eh? Everybody loves a good hug. Especially in times like this. That's pretty much the definition of cold. Anyway, let's go. Looks like the others have already gone in. Fine. We don't have time to talk about this. Alright, well, let's do this. Rock, paper, scissors. But well, this is just sudden. I know I said that we shouldn't bottle our emotions in and stuff, but... I don't think that playing games is what we should do right now. R R rock, pepper, scissors? We have to decide who's gonna press the button. And you think that's a good way to decide? Just shut up and do it. Oh. She wants to choose betray more than likely, so... So, if she wins, we won't have much of a choice. Unless we force our way to press the button ourselves. She's trying to not let us... She's trying to not let us press the button. One, two, three, uh... I choose rock. Scissors. Ha! Rock! <laughs> looks like I won. Whoop, whoop, whoop. Damn it. So what are you gonna pick? I guess so, I. We're playing against Ten Miyoji. Do you have any reason to think he won't betray you? Um... Oh, he could betray us. He could not. But I sure won't betray him. I guess not. Yeah. If he does, what does that make our BP? We'd be down to one point each. But that's not hopeless. I mean, sure, we'll be a little further away from the goal, but all we gotta do is earn those points back. And when will we do that? Okay, well, I don't actually know. But it's pretty obvious that we'll be playing this game more than once. After all, we're gonna get to 9 BP if we don't. 10 seconds remain. Until Ambidex game polling closes. Technically, I do have to agree with Sigma. 
Though it kinda depends on what others think about escaping from the number 9 door or not. Well, you won. The decision's yours. Now decide. Ally? Or betray? 3, 2, 1. In that last moment before the counter reads zero, I made my choice. Alright, Tenyoji. What's it gonna be? Are you gonna make our job easier? Round one of the Ambidex game has been completed. Are you gonna make our job easier or not? Results will be displayed in the warehouse. Thank you for your participation. Ambidex gates now opening. As Fai and I stepped out of the AB room, I could see the others running toward the projection, shoving and pushing to get closer. Tenyonji was left behind, his footsteps a slow, heavy plot. What had happened to make him like that? So you chose Ally, huh? You don't get to complain. I won't, remember? Not complaining. I just think you're being a little soft-hearted. Oh, you worry too much. I'm sure Tenmyoji chose Ally too. Well, I myself cannot say for sure, but I'm sticking to my guns. See, that's what I'm talking about. You don't have any facts, just misguided optimism. It's more than just misguided optimism. Kinda like how there's more to your rock, paper, scissors game than you want us to think. Yo, what's up? We're busy here, Zero. Ziggy. We're coming, we're coming, just hold on a second. But no! I said we're coming, goddammit! Hold your carrot! Hey, what are you kids doing over there? We're about to announce the results. Let's go. We should have a look at those results. Fine. Good, good, good. <laughs> Looks like you're all here. Finally. Let's get ready to rock! Ambedex game! Round one! The results! I'm gonna shoot you in the face if you don't just show us the results right now. If everybody would please direct their eyes to this monitor. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, tell me, Oji. You couldn't have done us a solid, eh? Now Fire's gonna be all... Told you so, you soft-hearted bitch. Here are the results from your game! Now, let us check the numbers on our bracelets. Sigma. Fi... I'm sorry. Why? Tenmyoji, why? I trusted you. <sighs> Look, I said I was sorry. See? I told you. A soft heart is the easiest to break. Do you understand what kind of game this is now? Yes, I understand what kind of game this is, Fi. I know. <laughs> Just tell me one thing, Tenmyoji. Why did you do it? Are you serious? Someone's dead, and not just dead, murdered. I got no reason to think that murderer wasn't one of you. Only an idiot trusts someone he's never met when there's a killer on the loose. You think I had a choice? Right. I think that's enough for me. I'm old, and I'm tired. So tired. Tenyoji shoveled off. 
the same weight I'd seen earlier sitting heavy on his shoulders. It was only then that I noticed a negative voice nearby. Hey! What the hell is this? Hey, look, lady, I, I was gonna choose ally, I swear to god. But just as I'm about to do it, this little bastard runs in and hits the betray button. Oh boy, here we go again. What? Oh, come on. Really gonna just try and play it dumb, huh? You're a manipulative little twerp, aren't you? Quark, is he telling the truth? Were... were you the one who chose Betray? No! I didn't do anything! I didn't have a chance to do anything before Mr. Dio pressed the button! I'm telling the truth! I promise! <laughs> sure, kid. Whatever. The cute and innocent act isn't gonna work. No! I... I... Hmm. Fine. You just wait. Alice turned on her heel and stormed off before Quark could reply, leaving him alone with Dio. Man, this is all your fault, Quark. M my fault? Why are you blaming me? How could you do that, Mr. Dio? You're a jerk. I moved away silent deep to let them stare daggers at one another. It seemed that theirs wasn't the only team facing some friction, however. We aren't trying to blame you. But, I mean, if you just think about it, wouldn't it make sense to choose Betray? Forget it. I understand now. It was silly of me to trust you guys. Seriously, Kay? Seriously, Clover? Even Luna? Oh, that's just wrong. The air in the room seemed to turn thick and sour, hanging over us like a brooding, angry cloud. It was a grim moment of darker times to come. Zero, when does the next round start? I mean, from my recollection of other timelines we have gone through, I have never seen Luna betray anyone till now, so it kind of sucks to see her betrayed like that. What makes you think we'll be having another round? But wait, you've already got those bracelets. Have a look. The color's changed, hasn't it? Yeah, my color's changed. It's magenta now. Mine's magenta too. Hmm. So it seems that now we are paired up with Clover. Me too. Hey, wait. It wasn't just the color that changed. I'm a solo now. Looks like Clover and I are still pairs though. I'm a yellow pair now. I am yellow as well. But it seems I'm still a pair. Okay, technically you Sigma were paired up with Phi before, but yeah, you're still you still have the pair word, so you're still paired with somebody. It's not that you're still paired with Phi. Then who's the yellow solo? Me. Still a solo. Looks like I'm Cyan. I'm a Cyan pair. Aren't you one too? Yeah. Says pair, and the color's Cyan. When did they change? Back when the AB gates closed. Alright. Let's go uh, to the lounge first. More than likely, we are going to meet Tenyoji in one of these escape rooms and have quite the awkward moment. But still, I am curious to talk to him some more. Ah, Sigma. Okay. Deal. Oh god. Now I have like I'm having like weird flashbacks of that time when we made the deal wear diaper. When we when we forced the deal into a diaper. <laughs> yeah, I can understand your reaction there, Deal. You didn't like that at all. Another dude. 
This place is turning into a real sausage fest. But... But I don't like sausages. Like, ever since I watched the... Uh, Freddy Got Fingered for the first time, I always felt... Ugh, bad about sausages. Oh, you mean the uh, little DX? Okay. What are you... What are you telling me for? I, uh... You were one of the first people in here, weren't you? Yeah, so? Well, did you notice anything? No. Although I guess I did notice that the sofa's pretty comfortable. Uh... Yeah, that is indeed important. Okay, how about something more useful? I'd say that the comfort level of a sofa is pretty useful. Yeah, it sure is. Right. Dio, what's this? <laughs> that? What, you can't tell? It's a dirty magazine. Oh. Dirty magazine about space chicks? Oh, come on. It's about astronomy. Can you even read? Can you even see? Just look at those rings on Saturn. Don't they excite you? Uh... That's the moon, dude. Not Saturn. Different strokes, I guess. I mean, you do say that you are circus ringleader, do you? Maybe women who do like uh, those dances with the rings, with those giant rings, really excite you, like a lot. Yeah, I can, I can kind of understand that. <laughs> it appears to be a special dedicated to a lunar eclipse. The cover says the eclipse can be observed on December 31st, 2028. Oh, right. Yeah, I guess it did say something like that. December 31st, December 31st, huh? That's six days from now, right? Six days, huh? You mean today is December 25th? Yeah. Well, I mean, I think it is. It depends on how long I was out after they hit me with that gas, I suppose. Hey, Kay. Your team went to the crew quarters, right? Did you find anything? Nothing of interest. You'd better not be hiding something. There really wasn't anything helpful. At least, nothing that could help us escape. There was a book about a cat, though. A book about a cat? Uh oh. Oh god. <laughs> that's- that's the trigger- that's the trigger word for Sigma's cat puns. Why did you have to do that, Kay? <laughs> Why? A cat? What, so now Zero Senior is a crazy cat lady? And just what the hell are we supposed to do with that tidbit? Well, it's more useful than how comfortable the sofa is. Hey, the sofa's comfort level is very useful. A bit dirty, but yeah, pretty com it's pretty comfy and useful. You never know when you might need to rest a little, and you may need a sofa like this. Um... Yes, Kay? What? Do you want to add a comment to that? I think you must have misunderstood me. This book isn't for... Uh... Cat ladies. Or for Sigma either, specifically. It's about Schrodinger's cat. Uh, I don't really give a shit about the breed, genius. Anyway, I'm a dog person, if you couldn't tell. No, it's not an issue of breed. Okay, okay, okay. So it's a story about poor Mr. Schrodinger and his beloved cat, right? Don't tell me. The cat dies at the end. Who fucking who? Fine. Never mind. I wonder if Dio actually knows about Schrodinger's cat, or she, he's just assuming stuff and he's being an ass. Either way, in both situations he's being an ass. <laughs> Just as I was about to open my mouth and tell Kay that I cared about what he'd found even if Dio didn't, Luna and I appeared. Oh good! Perfect timing from Luna and Fi. They got here before Sigma's... Oh, hello, Sigma. They got here before Sigma's cat puns started to show up again. So this is where you were. 
Did any of you find anything? Nope. We got squad. You were looking though, right? Hey, answer me. Oh well. I mean, we weren't wasting time. We weren't thinking of drinking some booze and such. I was just asking them what they found. And? Nada. Useless. Hey! What about you, Sigma? You were one of the people searching the infirmary, weren't you? Uh, yeah. I almost forgot. It would take too long to explain. Just have a look at this. I dug the paper out of my pocket and handed it to Luna. It looks like a piece of newspaper. Yeah, we found it in the infirmary safe. The headline says, Radical 6 infection spreads. Cure continues to elude authorities. What? What is Radical 6? You know, Kay, your mask reminds me of something right now when I look at it. Your your mask reminds me of Kingdom Hearts. It has like a Kingdom Hearts vibe to it, but just just read the article. Okay, the Radical Six virus continues to spread across the globe like wildfire. The WHO has confirmed that the death toll is estimated to have passed one hundred thousand victims. Immediate quarantine of any infected patients is strongly advised. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. A very interesting story. <clears throat> A cold silence fell over the room. For several long minutes, no one spoke. It was Kei who finally broke the spell. Is there a chance? I mean, I certainly hope it isn't the case, but... Could it be that this facility is, in fact, one of the quarantine locations that Clipping mentions? Then, you're saying we're all infected with this Radical 6 virus? I don't know. It doesn't really fit. I mean, none of us have shown any kind of symptoms, right? Well, I do feel a little strange. I've lost my balance a few times. Well, no shit, Fi. God knows for how long we have been in here without food. My body feels kind of weird too, I didn't mention it. That's probably just because you were asleep for so long. Are you suggesting that our incarceration here has nothing to do with this article? Yeah, it just doesn't add up. The order's backwards. And maybe if we'd been thrown in here after this virus started spreading. But right now, it looks like we were abducted before this thing turned into a pandemic. How's that make any kind of sense? Besides, you found that article in the safe, right? That means Zero Senior put it there specifically so we could find it and read it. Why would Zero do something like that? So that we'd think this place is a quarantine facility. So that we'd think what Zero wants us to think. How do you mean? And this thing is just a... A prop. Something to set the scene. Something that would make us think that it's something. But in actuality, this is some sick, twisted TV show that people enjoy watching. They surely have gone way too far with the Zero Escape series. That's for sure. Zero's trying to freak us out. That article is a fake. Yeah, got a point. If it was real, why cut it out? Just leave a newspaper with the article... Just leave a newspaper with the article circling red pen or something. Right? <laughs> that lazy son of a bitch. Probably too much of a pain in the ass to fake a whole paper. What does the other side look like? The other side? Oh. Uh, oh, hold on. It's... Black. See, there you go. Why would a newspaper just be black on one side? Well, perhaps there was an ad there. An ad? Some sort of full-page ad with a black background. No. 
I bet you money an article like this was front page news. It's too big of a story. Mm. Maybe they blacked it out so that we wouldn't find out the date at which this article was made. And I really don't think they put full page ads on the back of the front page. Exactly. Even I know that, and I can count the number of times I've read a paper on one hand. <laughs>